Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session, the Tuesday, 24th of July, 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, Signals and Market Updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so uh, we basically have the uh, market surging overnight on the back of stronger Google earnings. Okay, we also have a situation in China as well. Uh, talk of potential fiscal stimulus certainly has helped the index or the uh, Shanghai certainly push higher as well overnight. The uh, Nikkei certainly rebounding as well. Uh, overall risk sentiment certainly seems to be on the uh, on the increase. Now, concerns regarding the Iranian threat certainly has been negated. Uh, the markets have certainly have overlooked that at present. Also, in terms of PMI numbers this morning, certainly have coming mixed with German, Germany stronger, but French and EU uh, PMI data weaker overall. So that certainly will act as a risk off. In terms of the FTSE itself, it certainly is benefiting from a move higher in commodities. Obviously, China overnight as well. Uh, we also have uh, the uh, situation in regards to Mr. BOE Broadbent, certainly with his dovish comments helping the index too. Okay, so let's look at the uh, technical picture now, given the fact that we've uh, explained the fundamentals there. Uh, in terms of the German DAX, first and foremost, as you can see here, the 10-minute chart certainly has surged, uh, obviously gapped higher, continuing its rally. Uh, we have a, uh, an impressive uh, thrust high here from 12.550. Uh, we've uh, rallied almost 200 pips, okay, or 200 points. So very impressive thrust in the German DAX, certainly seems to be following the NASDAQ higher as well as the NASDAQ breaks above the uh, 7400 level once again, okay. So again, uh, in terms of uh, resistance here, let's have a look on the 60-minute chart. Uh, you've got a cap fill resistance of 12.760, so watch out there, so we're not too far from that potential zone. Uh, daily chart as well, uh, again, you, we already know the Fib 61% certainly is acting as face resistance. Now, we do, we are looking forward to a Mr., uh, uh, the ECB this week as well, and Mr. Trump, so potential negotiation there with regards to the EU, so let's see what's happened there. What happens there now, I mean, Mr. Trump did uh, allude to a potential agreement with the EU or uh, will attempt to uh, work out something with the EU. So again, let's just see if that actually materialises yesterday in the speech yesterday. Let's see if that materialises. Now we do have gap fill uh, obviously below at 5.380. We've certainly pushed higher here from 5.380 to 5.430. So quite an impressive thrust on the French CAC. Okie dokie. So daily chart, Fib 61% still acting as resistance on the French CAC. In terms of the FTSE 100, it's got quite an impressive thrust so far. We're back to that uh, key resistance zone now around the 7716 level in the FTSE. Let's see if that holds. Okay, uh, again, if you break above that, then you are looking potential short squeeze up to 7745, 7775, and then eventually 7795. So quite an impressive thrust in the FTSE. For now, the daily chart, as we already know, holds key resistance. Let's see if we can break above that convincingly. Now, the 10-minute chart certainly has thrust higher from 7650. So it's up by 65 points so far. So very, very impressive thrust. Okay, so let's look for a potential reversal. If you do look for a reversal here now, oh, I am look, certainly looking for a reversal here now, back down to 7,670. Potentially, if it continues to break higher, then you are looking for a short squeeze up to 7,745 and higher. So that's basically a status quo. Okay, so our summation really of European indices, certainly surging in the back of China stimulus. Google earnings certainly stronger than expected. It certainly is negating all geopolitical and socioeconomic concerns at present. Eurozone data wasn't exactly spectacular. In terms of the rest of the day, we're looking forward to the US data now, manufacturing red book, and let's see how that responds as well. On that note, please be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs. Certainly take advantage of that bonus and be sure to visit TradeSignal, download the latest app. Goodbye now.